the way we were doing things in finance mostly was like looking at one risk at a time and saying like, okay, maybe these firms are exposed to, you know, basic cycle risk or to other factor or something. But I feel it was moving kind of slow and we were not going to be done anytime soon. So what I figured in the PhD was like, well, maybe if we can get all of the risks of all the companies, we can just be done with asset pricing. Right. And then I figured out that firms actually speak about all of their risks in the 10K annual reports. So it is a thing, right? If you go to the 10K of like Apple, you'll see like all the things they're exposed to. And then I figured like, okay, I have no idea how to, you know, I know it's in the text and I have no idea how to map it to anything numerical. So I learned about machine learning and I learned about all the things you could do. So I got very interested in AI early on because I thought it was a great tool to solve some of the mysteries in asset pricing, which of course have like, you know, practical implications because people, people invest in things. So that's, that's mostly how I got interested. And obviously ChatGPT came out a couple of years ago, a little bit more by now, November, 2022nd, roughly, if, if I remember correctly. And uh, it was just way more advanced than anything I've seen before. Like it was just, there was nothing like it, right? And that was a 3.5 model that now feels like so silly to even interact with. It's like, I, I don't want to use that model, but uh, it just changed things so, so, so much. And I was like, I need to do, I need to do something with this, right? 